Is that on meat? No, that's not fist or all meat. You left your gun outside, Clem. Oh dear. Yeah, she's found it. Uh oh. I see you. Morning. It's your old mate Yorkie here. Once again, bring you an episode of Tales of a Coffee. We start the day together with a narrative game and a cup of coffee in the hope of welcoming a blessed day. We return now to The Walking Dead by Turn Tales. We're starting season two. Right. Now, for anyone who's not sure, yes, I did play this a year ago. I don't remember everything, but I remember some. But I've got a particular idea in line for how I'm going to handle each of the major of these player characters. And in Clem's case, I had a rather brave last time. This time, yes, she's proven competent. And when necessary, she'll be probably competent. But she's also been traumatized. She's lost her mother, her father, Lee, and found her mother and father dead as Lee fell over and she had to kill him. So that's one traumatized kid who's working on fear at this point. Let's go. No. There we are. All that remains. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Hey, it was. It could be safer for you to stay here with her. Clementine? Clementine! And that's not the choice I made. She came with us. Oh. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! Lee, I saw my parents. Yep. I know. You could leave me. It's okay. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. These are not the choices I made last time. Uh, some of them anyway. These are the choices from the first time I played this through. Okay. As I say, I am making different choices in a lot of cases. Some of it makes an has an impact on the game to a degree, some of it doesn't. Such is the way with a game like this. Episode one, all that remain. What do you think? Oh me. So she is with Omaid and Krista. Good. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? It's because... the showing. 
Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. <laughs> Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. Omid is a good name. I like it. Thank you, Clementine. <laughs> you always agree with him. Because I'm always right. Oh. You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. <laughs> Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. Yeah, we let's count hope. On it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. Mm -hmm. We'll be right next door. Okay. Head's growing down a little, it seems. And you didn't cut it all the way down, of course, Lee. Hello? Well, that's broke. Oh, gross. Not something good, that's for sure. Old toy. Looking in one hell of a state. Mm, that. Good. No one's here. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. Going down, boy? No? Alright. Please have water. Probably not. I'd be surprised if much of anything was working anymore. Cleaned up real quick. Oh uh, well. Went under there. No, nope, not that one. Must have rolled under the other. There it is. You. Uh oh. Crystal Homemead? No, that's not Crystal or Homemead. You left your gun outside, Clem. Oh dear. Yeah, she's found it. I will. Why not? <clears throat> Are you stupid or something? Get out here. Well, there ain't much choice right now. Not at gunpoint, there ain't. You got anything on you? This ain't good. Come on, let's see. No, that's all I have. That's it? Mm -hmm. How'd you make it this long? I'm serious. What else you got? I got That's nothing it. else. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. 
I'm not screwing around. Come on. I don't have anything. This ain't good. Need that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Not gonna lie, she might have some sympathy. I doubt it though. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Just like Why you, you ain't huh? got nothing good. Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing <coughs> good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Mm. Oh crap! Yo, big guy. You're only a little guy, really, but you're big enough to block the whole camera. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Well, you did it anyway, didn't you? I didn't mean to. Well, now you're dead. And so is all meat. Can you hear me? No, I don't oh, think he can hear anyone. He needs to put his uh, bullet through his brain. She's going to resent Clem for it, isn't she? Good at all. Sixteen months later, year and a quarter. Sean Ron, I recall. Oh, she got Krista there. Talk to me. Major silent treatment, huh? This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. It's not wrong. Otherwise... Good ass to her for keeping Clem around. Omid said that I know what Omid said. Bit of a sensitive subject. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Well, uh, will it be better there? Then? It'll be better there, right? Safer, maybe. So they say. But I don't know. Who says? It has to be. I know it will. We'll see. We just need to keep moving north. Oh, boy. I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit.
one Clem get to it. Well, yeah, she's traumatised. Now seen someone else that she cared about killed. Memories. Catcher, Kenny, and Duck. And a dead nun lighter. Ah, okay, I'm clicking and he's gonna be held. Better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. No. That wall's not really good at keeping fire going. Might not uh, be able to catch if it's not good enough yet. This might burn. Uh oh. People. Angry people as well. <laughs> Time to look from hiding. Who do you think you're fooling here? Oh, you don't if go it's towards the truth, it, Clem. And you don't get hurt. You fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. They got her. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. Sneak away. Not saying. You expect us to believe you're out here all alone? Who the fuck do you think you're fooling? Like say, traumatized and terrified. Clementine, run! Hey. Oh God. And that was a gunshot we heard. Get the fuck over here! Now! Come out here, girl. I'm not fucking around. Shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it! Where's my mouse gone?
See if you can throw him into the zone. Leave him, Clem. Leave him. Run. <laughs> Underwater. This is not good. She's away, but damn. Oh, by look of the judgment. So she's all alone now. Literally lost everyone. You're lying on or trusting no. others that you hurt. <coughs> Sunken bow. Not gonna be much use, is it? Kids camp. I don't think camp's a thing anymore. Camp's where you stay when you're on the road hiding from zombies. A camp you yourself have made. She's up. this Zom not Krista that's something but she's probably completely gone anyway said we heard a gunshot I've said I mentioned, I've played this once before. One thing I should say is, I try and role play according to the character and the storyline and the characters I've developed them, um, rather than rely on any previous knowledge. So, yeah, I'll be playing according to fear as much as I can. Some choices are forced on you, regardless of if I think that's a good move or not, because that's what she's dealing with. That didn't sound good. Birds, okay. Danger. 
Yeah, growling, that's dangerous. Boy. It's okay. Try and talk it down, but... Take the dog's collar. Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. What's he doing? I don't know, but do you really want to go see? I don't think she'd go see. That's a good Sam, warning to stay away. Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! We have a destroyed old van. Wouldn't have thought there's much of anything here, but pretty run over. we'll see. But you never know. Let's look around for some food. It's your family, Looks isn't like it? they were a happy family once. Lots of families were happy once. Behind somewhere. About this. Hmm. Nothing edible. Nope. And toys ain't gonna save you, Clem. You know that. play? Want to play catch? No, let's not play with the dog. Try and get away from the dog when we can. Okay, bring it back. Like I say, some choice are forced on you. Good boy, Sam. Not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers yep. tore it apart. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? Uh oh. What's the matter, Sam? Be quiet. Mm. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Nope. Ever. As we know, the bite, bite only hastens things. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. That's what Lee said. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Oh, come on. That looks like it hurt. Apparently we can't get him. Branch. 
stand back, okay? Good hits. You're going now. And again, Clem. out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Well, you can think that, thing. certainly. Get the... No, it's a weapon. Not the best weapon, but it's a weapon. <sighs> still pretty sharp. Sorry, I'm still rubbing my face. So I'm trying to wake useful. up still. We won't go another night without food, okay? Oh, God. Doesn't sound like that's good. So sick of that smell. Rotten food. Yeah, I'd imagine so. <sighs> Nothing there. No food here either. <sighs> well, here we go. Oh my god, thank you. Can of beans by the look of it. Look, Sam, I can. <gasps> Let's see what's inside. I've been that food when Please you've got a hungry dog there. That's not good. That dog is bad news. Is it beans? <sighs> Thank God. No. There's barely enough for me, okay? Go find your own food. Uh-oh. Told you that dog was bad news. I told you that dog was bad news. Gotta learn. Can't go on emotion. Hungry dog. Not enough food to go down. That is bad. Not oh, these animals can turn into zombies. Let's uh, finish it off. Could be good meat, though. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. Not let yourself get bit, shouldn't I? 
associated with that dog. Shouldn't have opened a can of food in front of it. Just a left. Left to that damn thing behind. Oh, that's bad. An infection could kill. You left the food behind. That dog, that dead dog, that's food. You left it behind. Imagine you've got to make a cooking fire, of course, but... Could do that. So weak. <laughs> See, that is a case where I feel the decision was forced on us. I get that an ordinary child might well do that, but she's not an ordinary child anymore. out zombies not in the state she's in Head up. People. <laughs> Normally I'd say afraid, I'd be afraid, but uh, stage she's in, she's not much choice. Can't exactly I'm fight them. Driver, let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get <laughs> Are they saving us because they're good? Or something else. No, she was nine last year, so or last time. So she must be around twelve this time. Maybe eleven. I think I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I'm fine. Just let me be. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. Well, so far at least one of these seems like what a good guy, but... Out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? That... There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. Not starving. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, 
No, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? <laughs> I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? It's understandable for you, but... See? Is it, uh... Is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? <laughs> I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. You do it for fighting it to kill you. What the hell's wrong with you? Clementine? What's wrong with you, boy? Yes. You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't always beat me at. All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. Oh, we can be have good. Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Well, oh. come on. Guess we're I'm off to where of these dead places. Right. This whole house. Just tired. Well, you better Woods, be fine. Woodland house. I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about. Hey. Ah oh, shit. And that is where we will pick it up next time, my friends. So, let's hope these are decent people, because if not, Clementine is in deep doo-doo. In the meantime, enjoy your coffee. May you have a blessed day. Hit the like, comment, subscribe if you want to scroll. I'll see you around.